Joy to thee, O Queen of Heaven, Alleluia. He whom thou wast meet to bear, Alleluia. As he promised, has the risen, Alleluia. Pour for us to God thy prayer, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is risen indeed, Alleluia. O God, who by the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ has brought joy to the whole world, grant that, aided by the prayers of his blessed Mother, we may come to the joys of eternal life with him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Alleluia. So today we observe the feast of St. Mark, the evangelist, uh, transferred from yesterday. And there's good reason to do so. We know that when Matthew and Luke wrote their Gospels, they had a copy of St. Mark's Gospel in front of them. We know that Mark's Gospel was written round about the year 65 AD and as it was written in Rome. We know that Mark met a martyr's death. So we honour him because it's a feast day if you like a glass of wine in the vicarage garden after Mass, do come over and join me. So first, let us call to mind our sins, our failures in love of God and our neighbour, and pray that we may become more Christ-like. We have lived by our own strength and not by the power of your resurrection, Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We have lived by the light of our own eyes as faithless and not believing. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We have lived for this world alone and doubted our home in heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, who enlightened your holy church through the inspired witness of your evangelist, St. Mark, grant that we, being firmly grounded in the truth of the gospel, may be faithful to its teaching, both in word and deed, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Reading from the book of Proverbs. The mind of the righteous ponders how to answer but the mouth of the wicked pours out evil. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. The light of the eyes rejoices the heart, and good news refreshes the body. The ear that heeds wholesome admonition will lodge among the wise. Those who ignore instruction despise themselves, but those who heed admonition gain understanding. The fear of the Lord is instruction and wisdom, and humility goes before honour. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The light of the eyes rejoices the heart, and good news refreshes the body. The, the light, light of, of the, the eyes rejoices, rejoices the, heart, the heart, and, and good, good news refreshes, refreshes the, body. the body. How shall young people cleanse their way to keep themselves according to your word? With my whole heart have I sought you. 
Oh, let me not go astray from your commandments. The light, the light of the eyes, eyes rejoices the heart, and good news refreshes the body. Your words have I hidden within my heart, that I should not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. O teach me your statutes. The light, the light of the, of the eyes, eyes rejoices the heart, and good news the refreshes Jesus. the body. With my lips have I been telling of all the judgments of your mouth, I have taken greater delight in the way of your testimonies than in all manner of riches. The light, the light of, the of the eyes rejoices, rejoices the, heart, the heart, and good news, good news refreshes, refreshes the, body. the body. I will meditate on your commandments and contemplate your ways. My delight shall be in your statutes, and I will not forget your word. The light, the light of, the of the eyes rejoices, rejoices the, heart, the heart, and good, good news, news refreshes, refreshes the body. The body. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Peter, James, John and Andrew, beware that no one leads you astray. Many will come in my name and say, I am he. And they There will be earthquakes in various places, there will be famines, this is but the beginning of the birth pangs. As for yourselves, beware, for they will hand you over to councils and you will be beaten in synagogues. And you will stand before governors and kings because of me as a testimony to them. And the good news must first be proclaimed to all nations. When they bring you to trial and hand you over, do not worry beforehand about what you are to say, but say whatever is given you at that time. For it is not you who speak, but the Holy Spirit. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child. And children will rise against their parents and have them put to death, and you will be hated by all because of my name. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please sit down. A rather depressing uh, section of the 13th chapter of Mark's Gospel, which is like a kind of mini apocalypse, and like the revelation of St. John the Divine, which is written in a kind of code for which we have lost the key. It is a simple reminder to us of the persecution of the earliest Christians, sometimes systematic persecution. And I guess this describes what persecution brings, all that kind of turmoil and the world upside down. So I don't take it literally. on this day as we remember Mark. We pray first for all biblical scholars, for those who translate the scriptures, for the work of the Bible Society, for all who seek to take the good news of Jesus Christ to the furthest ends of the earth. as we pray, think of St. Mark, we pray for the great basilica in Venice and for its life and witness. And we give thanks for the enrichment brought by that holy place to our Western civilization. 
Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We continue our prayers for the people of India, for all who are involved in fighting the coronavirus. We pray for our own government, national and local. We pray that all may be done for the common good and the building up of community. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our parish, for all who live and work within its bounds, for all who are joined with us through the internet, for those for whom we've been asked to pray, especially for Mike, Heather, Dorothy, Terence, Hannah, Julia, David, Jane, Anne, Marjorie, Jill, Tony, Margaret, Julie. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We give thanks to you, Father, for all those whom we love but see no longer. Grant them light, refreshment and peace in the beauty of your kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shares in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we venerate the glory of Saint Mark, we offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of praise and humbly beseech you that your church may always persevere in the preaching of the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever, praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. 
he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemp redemption as we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, of the Apostles, the Martyrs, of Mark the Evangelist, and John the Evangelist, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Corpus Christi, the custodian.
Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that what we have received from your holy altar may sanctify us and make us strong in the faith of the gospel which St Mark proclaimed. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God give us grace to follow his saints in faith and hope and love and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, come down upon us to dwell deep within us this day and for evermore. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs>